and welcome to my hot New England kitchen. Um, we're at the tail end of a heat wave of a summer um, and so I might look a little hot because it's still quite hot in my house. But I just wanted to come to you today and just give you some a really quick easy meal to do when you're on the run. Um, if your home is anything like mine there's always a lot going on. We have school, we have multiple swim practices, I coach one of them. So we're in and out and the afternoon kind of goes by in a blur. And so some days I need to make sure, actually most days, make sure that dinner's ready before everybody gets home from swim practice. And if it's a night where I'm at swim practice, really needs to be ready or I hire my husband to help out. So tonight we're making a really quick pasta dish. Um, it's a gluten-free dish because we do gluten-free meals in our home. Two of our kids um, are very sensitive to gluten. And so I just wanted to share this with you. It incorporates some veggies and it shows what I do when we're in a pinch. Um, so what I've already done is I've already boiled the pasta and I decided to do ground turkey tonight instead of gluten-free meatballs. Um, in the interest of time because I didn't have time to run to another store and I certainly didn't have time to make them. But also ground turkey is cheaper than ground beef so I'm saving some money there too. Um, at the last minute I decided hey I have a couple of zucchinis in the fridge and I spiraled them and threw them in. Honestly it took all of five minutes. So if you have any extra veggies it's a great way to hide them for your kids. You can dice them up. Zucchini always works really well. Um, you could add some carrots if you want, but typically I do zucchini. Um, I would, you could also do some peppers or some onions. Um, and then with the sauce, and I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese. They may not even realize they're in there. So I'm gonna show you um, what I've prepped so far, and I'm gonna add the final ingredients, and then I'm gonna show you how I make a quick and easy side salad. So um, here we go. Oh. No, it's not going to let me do that. All right, so so you can see here I have the ground turkey. I have the pasta in here. Um, it's been sitting for a couple of minutes because I had to drive one of my kids to swim practice. Um, the other two are going shortly. And tonight is actually my night off, um, but because it's my night off, I'm going to be going and visiting with some friends that I haven't seen in about six months. So I needed to have dinner ready so that when my husband gets home, he doesn't have to worry about it. Um, so tonight I'm just using jarred tomato sauce, pasta sauce. Um, Trader Joe's is one of our go-tos. I really like Trader Joe's. I'm going to start with one jar. Oops. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes it gets stuck. See how far that takes us. So we use a lot of gluten-free pasta. This is brown rice pasta. And um, I'm finding that it works best when I actually mix the sauce into it. Um, otherwise, it, it all just sticks together. And literally, you could take a fork in it and pull it up. I'm going to use two jars tonight. I think we need some more. Um, and I really like sauce in my pasta. I certainly don't want it to be dry. Um, you might be able to hear the rumbling in the background. We're getting some much needed thunderstorms, hoping to break this heat. It was 95 degrees today, and it is September 6th. I mean, that is just absolutely crazy. Um, so there we go. It looks delicious to me. I've decided to add some Parmesan cheese. Um, I like Parmesan cheese, so we're going to add that. This is just grated. You can use shredded if you want, or you can leave it out. Um, just depends upon what your family likes. Um, but it'll just give it a little bit more flavor, um, and then people don't have to add it at the end too. So what I'm gonna do once this is done, is I'm actually gonna stick it in, a, in the fridge so that when my husband gets home, all he has to do is reheat it for my kids. So you can see the zucchini's kind of sticking. A little bit that's the summer squash I use both but this is what it looks like it's absolutely a delicious yummy meal and I bet we'll have leftovers I'm gonna show you one of my new favorite cheats to make a salad um, I've noticed that lately a lot of stores are selling like pre salad mixes and honestly I never really was a fan because I like to do everything myself but 
if I'm honest with myself, I don't always have the time. Um, we like to eat a lot of fresh veggies in our house, but sometimes I just have to cut corners. And this is something I've been doing for the last couple weeks, and everybody seems to like it. And so I'm going to share it with you. Um, what I do is I buy one sal pre-salad, it's like a salad kit. Um, I read the ingredients to make sure it doesn't have anything in it that my kids can't have. Uh, we need to avoid all nuts, and we need to avoid all gluten. So those are the two top things I look for. Um, and then I add it to more greens. Because it already comes with a salad dressing, I don't want it to be super drenched in dressing um, because we don't need to eat that much dressing, and um, I can stretch it a little bit. So I add some greens to it and mix it all up with all the toppings and salad's done. So I'm gonna show you how I do that now. So I have some leftover arugula here. So I'm gonna put in some arugula. I'm not gonna do too much because this one actually has quite a bite to it. And we love arugula, but... And then I have spinach. I'm gonna use the rest of the spinach I have. <clears throat> so really I'm adding about six ounces of greens. You could do whatever though. You could use lettuce. Um, you could use cabbage, whatever you like. Um, so that's my base. And then I bought the Trader Joe's Southwestern Chop Salad. I've also noticed that um, Aldi, which I didn't get to today, also sells something similar. So I take the goodies out, <laughs> dump the salad, and this is a lot of cabbage and stuff. And then I'm just going to toss it, mix it up. And then there's some toppings here. Open it up real quick. This is some tortilla strips and some pumpkin seeds, pepitas. Just dump that in. There's just a little bit of cheese. We'll put, dump that in. Not a lot. Because it has cheese in it, um, it's probably best eat in within a day or so because cheese kind of gets gunky after you put salad dressing on it. And then I'm going to put the salad dressing on. And another trick I do, I'll let Josiah show you that for a second, is um, since I put a lot of greens in there, there's not going to be a lot of salad dressing, so I'm going to drizzle some balsamic vinegar on too. That's it. And then, you back up, <coughs> I'm going to take the salad towels and just toss it. Toss it so that everything is coated. Um, sometimes if I have tomatoes from the garden or something, I will add those also. I'm not going to do that tonight, um, but that's what it looks like. Isn't it pretty? Sometimes I also just might add some chickpeas, so tonight I may do that. I just drain them, throw them in, toss them up. Um, and if you were to add some, you know, quinoa or brown rice and some protein, some other protein, you can do just beans, but chicken or something, you would have like a complete meal right there. So I hope those tips help. Um, I know there's lots of us out there who desire for our families to eat well, eat healthy, eat their veggies, and sometimes it's a struggle, um, whether it's they just don't like it or we are crunched for time and energy. Um, you know, take, take one of these salad kits and just doctor it up a little bit and you've got a great salad. It doesn't take a lot of time and dinner's ready in no time. So thanks so much for watching. I hope this was an encouragement to you today. Have a great day.